Winged Snow Hunter, as I read it. What? Just by speaking the name, I'm learning the shout. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. I finally... Keep your distance. What? What happened? Another girl killed. This is Susanna, from Candlehearth Hall. Served me a drink just a few nights ago. But I can't say I knew her. I'm not sure why you're coming to me for this, but how was she killed? Same as the others. Looks like she was stabbed and then cut apart. It's like an animal got to her. Really? But these are the wounds of a blade. Hmm, so this has happened before. Susanna's the third. It's always the same. Young girl killed at night, body torn up. And are the murders being investigated? We're stretched thin as it is with the war. Nobody has the time to spend on this. Not pleasant, but it's the truth. So you're just going to come up to me while I'm minding my own business. Just an orc. So are you suggesting that you need help? If you want to help, ask some of these gawkers if they saw anything useful. I'm going to examine the body before the rats can get to it. All right. Anyway, I have unfortunately more important business to attend to here in Windhelm. I have to get that peace council together at High Rothgar. The fate of all of Tamriel could hang in the balance. Ulrich won't give us a straight answer. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire's putting a great deal of pressure on White Run. And what would you have me do? <laughs> if he's not with us, he's against us. They talking they to each other that. from different rooms. They all know that. Jarl. Only the foolish or the courageous approach a Jarl without summons. Do I know you? <laughs> uh, you can put me in the courageous category. I'm not afraid of you. Even your supposed thum that I've heard about. We should test and see who's is strongest. But I'm here because I have a message from the Greybeards. It's about time they turned their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? They want to negotiate a truce until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. General Tullius has already agreed to attend. Good. We still hold half of Skyrim despite everything the Empire could throw at us. I doubt the Empire has the stomach for much more bloodletting. <laughs> I like this bodyguard positioning himself between the two of us. So, you will come to the Peace Council. Yes, I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. <laughs> you think I need to send Bolgroth a stronger message? If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet. Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace How about make you? a more powerful statement, don't you think? So we're ready Cardlet to start White this Main is a better place now. Or yes. is there any place better than Sovereign Guard? I still say you should take them all. I wouldn't know. But I'm looking for work. Have you got any leads? The Jarl has put out a bounty to slay a giant. A giant. Here, take a look at this decree for details. All right. I appreciate that. Travel safe. We can take yes, the day. Lunch at all the better, but if not, the people are behind you. Many I fear. All right, I will 
add the giant to my list. Let's see, where do I need to head next? Looks like it's back to Arn Gear. Giant is kind of on the way. Frost. All right. Let's see if we can get over to this giant camp. well aware that I'm not wearing any armor, but I have a new power that I want to test out. What? Oh. Fellow wolves. All right, you stay here. This beast within. Let's see what this can do. No, oh, that hurt though. Almost killed me. very careless I'm lucky still be alive I can sell that. All right. The effect hasn't worn off yet. I'm still channeling my inner werewolf. Let me go back and collect my bounty, and then I'll head on to High Rothgar. All right. Ah, the beast within has quieted down. And it's past the transformation periods. So let me get in here and get my bounty. Dragonborn. Uh, it's you, an honor. You recognize me. Thank you. The Greybeards have called a peace council at High Rothgar. Do you believe it? Both Ulfric Stormcloak and General Tullius have agreed to go. Yes, well, I'm responsible for it, so I do believe it. Where is this man? Heard what you did. Warlef. Killing those foul witches. Well done, companion. Well, thank you. The giant at Broken Limb Camp is dead. I'm here for the bounty. Excellent. 
You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Thank you. Travel safely. Hmm. It's dangerous out there. 500 gold, not bad. I suppose I need to find a place to craft or buy some more armor. Uh, let me see. It's also time to pray. seen you have to love your conditions for praying all right how's this Are you kidding me? Her scene. If you continue with this pettiness, I'm just going to forgo praying to you for now. I really don't have time. People's lives are hanging in the balance. Finally. Her scene. Hear me. Strengthen me for the ordeal that is yet to come. Thank you, Hercene. That was a lot more difficult than it needed to be. <laughs> All right. So, I can tell that he has strengthened my ability to enchant objects. Let me get to High Hrothgar. All right, here we are. I just had a funny thought. What if I arrived at night? time is it? Yeah, it's like almost seven o'clock in the morning, but what if I arrived at night and a werewolf transformation occurred during this peace conference? <laughs> Arngear. So, you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here. In these halls, whose very stones are dedicated to peace, I should not have agreed to host this council. No, oh, come Graybeards now. Graybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. People's lives hang in the balance, Arngear. 
get some balls. This was the only way to get Ball Groove's help. Yes, yes. Which is why I allowed this violation of no, all our traditions. Really? But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table, and let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. All right. You just want me to go. Wait, foot Delphine so, Esburn. Arn Gear, is it? You know why we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? You are not invited here. You are not welcome here. We have as much right to be at this council as all of you. More, actually, since we were the ones that put the Dragonborn on this path. Were you? Hubris of the Blades truly knows no bounds. <clears throat> if it were up to you, the Dragonborn would sit dreaming on this mountain doing nothing. Delphi, we're not here to rehearse your grudges. The matter at hand is urgent. All Dwin must be stopped. You wouldn't have called this council if you didn't agree. We know a great deal about the situation and the threat that all Dwin poses to us all. You need us here if you want this council to succeed. <laughs> uh, very well. You may enter. Well, that was easy enough. Looks like we have a full house. Gentlemen, excuse me, ladies. Why delay? Please, take your seat so that we can begin. <laughs> All right then, I suppose I'll have to sit first. Now that everyone is here, Please take your seats, so we can begin. I hope that we have all come here no. in the spirit you of- you insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. Mm. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial Delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Izmir's beard, the nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that foul more bitch. Mm, wow. Well. Mm. All right, well, since you're asking my opinion, I have to agree with Ulfric. The Thalmor have no business here. I'm glad we agree on this. Very well, Ulfric. Enjoy your petty victory. The Thalmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. We would not think of interfering in your civil war. Ha! Skyrim will never and Don't let the, the door Thalmor, hit you on the way out. Unlike your imperial friends here. You're lucky I respect the Greybeard's council, Galmar. Legate, we represent the Emperor here. Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the Dragon Menace. 
There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't be We're able to resist. To a temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric, General Tullian, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar, and do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markar. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif. I so said did I, I'd actually. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. Want in return. Wait, General, you, need you to don't pipe intend down to just hand over Markarth to that traitor. This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Hmm. Winterhold seems like a fair trade. In exchange for Markarth, the source of most of Skyrim's silver. Hardly. <laughs> Riften seems like a better choice to me. Well fortified, easily resupplied from across Lake Honrik. Plus all the mead we can drink. I've recently become Thane of Riften, and I've bought a home there. So no, Riften is off the table. I asked you. Well, wait a minute. There are advantages to gaining Winterhold. Not enough to outweigh the loss of Markarth. With the reach in enemy hands, our whole position in solitude would be threatened. You asked my opinion, and I gave it to you. Fair enough. I was hoping you could put aside your loyalties for the greater good, but I see you're firmly in Ulfric's camp. Still, well, not really. Winterhold would allow us to directly threaten the rebel supply lines out of Windhelm. Better than nothing, I suppose. But Ulfric will need to offer a lot more if he wants me to give up Markarth without a fight. The Dragonborn has spoken, Tullius. Markarth will be ours. Now we'll see if there's anything behind your talk with good faith. You disappoint me, Dragonborn. Mm. I accepted your invitation on trust in your good name. But it seems you intend to favor Ulfric. I can see now that this is not a negotiation at all. I know you, Ulfric. If I hand over Markarth, you'll be ready with a new demand. You'll never defeat the Empire, and you know it. But you're willing to sacrifice thousands for your own selfish ambition. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the Headsman's Axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Here you sit, arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me, and I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now, he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful 
with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? I don't know about the end of the world, but this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. If this truce will help the dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Ulfric. Now, back to the matter at hand. You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Markarth on these terms. Show us bones. Where will these demands end? Let's hear it. We want compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Damned Imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation for this your butchery at... All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. So, Dragonborn, <laughs> what do you say? Um... Ulfric should compensate you for Karth Wasten. Well said. For once you'll actually pay for your crimes. You know I can't agree to these terms. The Emperor would repudiate this treaty and I would be recalled. You see what talking to them gets us? Let's hear it. We want the Pale returned to Imperial control. The traitor Skull the Elder will be replaced with a more loyal candidate. What next, Talius? Shall I just hand over all of Skyrim? I guess I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide. Although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. Really? So, Dragonborn, what do you say? All right. I may have forgotten myself for a moment. My loyalty is with the Imperials. So I agree. Ulfric should turn over the pale. I knew I could count on you. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. Ulfric will allow Imperial troops to enter Winterhold. Kralda will replace Coriel as Jarl. The Stormcloaks will pay appropriate compensation for the massacre at Cartwaston. The Pale will be turned over to the Empire. Brynna Merilis will assume the Jarl ship in Dawnstar. You both agree to this? The sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to them. What about you, Alistair? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. Hmm. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Elisith. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Galmar. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Balgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan? Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains, how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all? Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? <laughs> ah, I believe I can do help here. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temple. An unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the Blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. And how does that help us? Uh, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts, 
by calling the dragon with voice. He will hear you wherever he might be. And why would he come when called? He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon. After your victory over Alt, I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. All right, so what is the dragon's name? Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice, like these worthy gentlemen. But it is written here, in this scroll. Od a Vin, winged snow hunter, as I read it. What? Just by speaking the name, I'm learning the shout? There's one more thing. We know about Parthenon. You know... What? Parthenax, the dragon that the Greybeards have been protecting for all these years. He needs to die. He deserves to die. And it falls to you to kill him until he's dead. Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you. Hmm. Whatever. About Parthenax. Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. Why does he need to die? Here's the big picture. He helped Alduin enslave our ancestors. He may have betrayed Alduin in the end, but that makes him worse, not better. We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn and return to his old master. That will be all, Delphine. I'll take your words under consideration.